Hi, this is Dave from the Metal Review. I'm here with Jed Simon from uh, Scala Marta. People may remember Jed from uh, Strapping Young Lad, Zimmer's Hole, Tenet, amongst many others. So, welcome. It's been a few, yeah. It's been a few, yeah. <laughs> so, today's the last show in the UK for this run. Um, how's it been? It's been good. It's been really quick. Yeah. Um, like I was saying on the way in here, it's five or eight days that just kind of blur into each other, and before you know it, we're just we're just getting our legs under us, and it's over. You know. So, but we had to come over and do this, especially in light that that we had to cancel the Dallas and Change thing that we were going to do. I think what, last month or something. Yeah, we're going to do Axe on the Ghost. I think was yeah, there was there was a conflict with the with the, with the run that we just did with uh, Rob Zombie and Corn, so we had to. Uh, we had to yeah, do a quick schedule yeah. and rearrangement. So here we are. And how are these shows in the UK, and there's only been a few compared to the US shows you've been doing? I, I mean, the response has been fine here. I mean, it's, it's exactly it's our first time here. We're a new band. Nobody really knows much about the band. Yes, yeah, so everybody's here to check out. They want to check out Joey, you know, and, and they want to see what's up, you know. And, and uh, so I think for what we're doing, it's perfectly acceptable what we've been doing. It's awesome. You know, the people are into the music. They, they, they're they're singing along, so people are, are, are clearly listening to the music, and, and you know there's there's an excitement. People are having a good time. We're having a good time. So yeah, it's cool, man. It's cool. You know, I got nothing to complain about at all. That's awesome. good. So going back, most people obviously know you from Strapping and Lad, but if we go back to like your first bands like Aramaris, even the Intruders. Oh, jeez, come on now. <laughs> Delve them way back. Um, <laughs> ACDC and yeah, yeah. yeah. So, did you ever envision way back then that you'd be, you know, the guy who are now on tour, traveling to Europe at your age we are now? I, uh, I, I had no intention of it, but it's funny. The more the, the, the older I get, the more I stay in contact with my old childhood friends and my old high school buddies. That are like, this is all you ever wanted to do, so we're not surprised. But I'm totally surprised because in my mind, I, I just it's just. It's just the way it worked out, you know what I mean? Like, I, de I don't remember being that driven kid that everybody says I was. It's just, it's the only thing I ever really knew how to do with a shit. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm happy for the fortune that I've had, you know? I, I think being able to travel the world and do the things I've done has been awesome because it gives a person some perspective and it grounds you at the same time. You should appreciate the things you've done, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, all my friends are like, yeah, you know. If it's all you ever wanted to do, I'm gonna do this. You know, like I don't remember ever being like that. <laughs> cool. At least I followed through. You know? That's it, you can do it. So besides Stalinata, Zimmer's Hole and Tenet, are they defunct or what's happening? You know, I'm, I'm, Zimmer's Hole will never be defunct, even if we're not doing anything right now. Um, I've got three, maybe four albums of material written. Wow. You know, it never, we never stop writing. And, I think when a window presents itself, we'll probably do another record. You know, I would like to because we all love the band. It's the band that, that it's easy to be in. You know, it's, it's my favorite band in the world to, to be in because it's just, there's no pressure. You know? How many bands can you set fire to the singer's beard with chickens? Yeah. And throw out slices of cheese. Three yeah. nuts. There you go. The uh, full force show in Germany, where yeah, yeah, that was that was uh, that was awesome. I saw him the day after with uh, Byron. And he, he, was, he was burned, you know. He, he was burned badly. He was, burned yeah. up. he was he was in a lot of pain, and we we all felt for him, sort of, not really. <laughs> uh, he, he hurt himself. And the fact that he the, that he got through it on stage, and the fact that we never blinked an eye, and just kept on playing, you know. Like, Stay professional. Yeah, I, I would like to say there's going to be another number of records from that band. It's just a matter of getting us all together now that we all live on different parts of the continent and all have some other, you know, uh, you know, being fathers, playing in other bands. You know, we've kind of, you know, we don't have the strapping central point from which we can work out work out of anymore. You know what I mean? Now we're kind of all over the place. So I, I would like to say there's going to be another record. I've thought about, you know. If, 
if I could just get out to Vancouver and get Gene up from LA and just get us into a room, there's going to be some magic happening. So hopefully we can work towards that. That's cool. And obviously everyone knows you through your association with strapping and debit. The first time you met, I heard something about trousers being pulled down. Yeah, the very first time I ever met Devin. I hadn't even met him yet. He just ran up behind me and pulled down my pants. Turned around, you know, all embarrassed and you know, trying to be a metal guy. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> now there's Dev. So going back, last year you were here in the UK for the Retinal Circus. And was that that show? Yeah. Um, when you got into, did Devin call you and just say, look, I'm doing this show, do you want to be part of it? What was your reaction? Because obviously strapping had been on, happening for a long time. I think Devin made it very clear that strapping was never going to play at all. Which is to answer your first question, the reaction was instantaneous. Yes. I mean, that, that's, that's the beginning and the end of that question. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, the long answer is, yeah, there have been a lot of years and some bitter, bitterness and some resentment and all that natural stuff that happens after a band breaks up and after you've been, you know, you've been so close for so long and then you start to fragment a little towards the end and then you break up and, you know, there's unfinished business it feels like, you know what I mean? And we had been split up long enough that... For me personally, I'd gained enough kind of perspective on the time that had passed to kind of appreciate what we'd done and not be such a bitter old dick one about it anymore, you know what I mean? So to have that invitation to go over there, for me personally, again, was closure. So I'm eternally thankful for that. And that's why you see me, you know, you see me crying my eyes out on stage. I knew that was the last time I was ever going to play those songs. And that's why I was so emotional. But it was my closure. You know, it was almost like a funeral, but it was a happy thing. You know what I mean? It, it's hard to hard to quantify with words, but that's that's exactly what it was. I was going to ask you that actually, because obviously we were in the crowd and me and a bunch of other guys. I mean, it was like three thousand dudes got emotional with you, and it was it was the last time because it was the last time we played love. Um, some of us had questions thinking, well, maybe you've got associations personally to that song. And I think it was more, we could just tell it was like, that's it. It's, it's, that's it's it. Done. This is it. Yeah. And I'm going to enjoy every bloody minute of it, but it's, it's highly emotional. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said that we're doing, and I'm like, perfect. I'm good. I'm good. You know, I, I would have picked a few more, but you know, you can't. You can't. <laughs> I'm not gonna. You know, that's apples and oranges, man. Math. It doesn't. After math, sure. Sure. You know, could have been anything. Could have done a full set, but you know, ideally, it could have been. It would have been the four of us. Yeah. You know, to stroll out and do like a half hour set or something. That would have been the quintessential moment. But it just wasn't meant to be, and there's no point being upset about it. And I got the other guy's blessing to do it. You know, I had to do it. I couldn't not do it. I had to do it. I was going to say, have you heard from since the concert? Has Gene or Byron seen the footage? And I don't know if they have seen it or not. Um, but like I said, you know, I I had their blessing. They're they're cool with it. They understand, and, and everything's everything's fine. You know, we, we we've gotten old enough now that we can just be friends and not worry about all that childish BS that went on before. Yeah. So today, Scarlet Marta, uh, Reese Fulber, I believe, was sort of the main instigator for getting you in the band. Yeah, that, that uh, came right out of the blue, man. So he just literally just recommended you. That was pretty well. I actually heard that Reese was in Iowa producing something. And naturally, I just put two and two together. So I, I don't know if it had anything to do with it or not. But I reached out to him and just said, "Hey, what are you doing?" And I don't know if that planted a seed or, or anything. But it, there was there was no there was there was really no um, conversations after that. That like, oh, I'm just busy doing this. Well, cool. All right. Well, talk to you later. And then 
it might have been it might have been a month later. You know, maybe they got to the point where they realized they wanted somebody else or something. And maybe I don't know if it was because I had reached out that I planted a seed, or Reese was just like, "Hey, Jack, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know what the sequence of events was that, that yeah that led up to them calling me, but." Either way, it was a nice surprise. Yeah, it was quite daunting going out on the road and suddenly you're going to the studio with a whole bunch of guys that you never knew. Yeah, that sort of stuff. yeah I mean, I'm a total, you know, I'm a total, like, uh, kind of, I'm not, not, don't quite have the words for it, but it was, it was, it was intimidating a little bit, you know, to be thrust into a room with, with folks you're not quite sure how their workflow works, you're on a very limited time, and you're expected to perform. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, I did the best I could, and obviously it was good enough to to get me a, a, a place in the band. So that's I'm eternally thankful because I mean, again, this all goes back to the being out of strapping for a while, and you know, I've, I've been home and I've been dad. I feel like I've been doing the right thing. You know what I mean? And, but the last couple of years, I've been kind of chomping at the bit a bit. You know, I'm like I want to get back out. I want to get back out. And then when Dev came, had me over to do the retinal, I was like, I think we can see. I want to get. I want to get back out. It's time. You know. And my son's old enough to, to be in school and stuff, and I'm like, you know, I asked my wife, you know, can I go do this? She's like, yeah. So, no, that's, that's why I'm here. Relationship with the guys, I mean, Kyle, your, your buddy, yeah, seeing all the uh, peanut butter and butter. I'm sorry, dude, peanut butter and butter are two completely different things. Just because peanut butter is called peanut butter, it just means it's crushed up peanuts, it's dry. And then, with butter, they just say, anyway, <laughs> we can go on. Now, you know what? The best thing is you put a big slab of cheddar cheese on top of that, oh, really. Okay. Yeah. So I've got some random questions for you. Um, you're on a desert island. You've got a solar powered iPod. You can only take three albums on it. Now, I, I, I preempted and said you were probably going to say one of them would be bonded by blood. Just knowing how much of a cost fan you are. Having only three albums. There's three albums, but that's it. See, I would probably stray away from metal and I go towards more of the childhood stuff. Okay. Um, Kiss Alive, the first one. <laughs> well, I have to get a little more current. Tom Petty, Wildflowers would be number two. Number three. That's not fair, man. It's tough, isn't it? It's not fair. It would be, if you know, now that you've planted the Exodus seed, it, it would be that. It would be like a toss between that and maybe Goodbye Elbic Road, Elton John. Or Endless Nameless, Wild Hearts, something like that. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. But we'll just put Dust on there anyway, because Paul Ballard. Strike of the Beast. Strike of the Beast. Blood upon the stage. That's right. The stage. So, another thing. Touring, what's your three essential tour items? Three essential tour items? Well, these days it's this, this, <laughs> Please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Answer my question uh, yeah. for me. <laughs> Mine would be the same, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, the older I get, the, the less important really anything becomes except seeing, eating, and pooping. <laughs> so, uh, what's your plans for 2014? You finish up today, back home, Christmas? Christmas, and we're just going to wait and see. You know, I'm sure there's been a lot of recent events. Yes. Um, I'm going to just go home and be with my family. I think we all need to do that. And we'll just let things kind of come work themselves. You know, um, I've got a band back home. I've been taking my time with it, building it slowly, and it's going to be like Tenant Part Two. Okay. Um, Are you singing? 
I, ch I keep trying and I keep failing, you know? I want to, yeah. but I can't. Uh, we just can't, I can't quite seem to find the right guy, so we're working on it, you know what I mean? And, uh, and there's the Zimmer's whole thing to think about. And uh, it's just being dead to think about, too. Yeah. Now we'll see what happens with Scar the Garda, you know? I'm just going to let things roll, you know? What would you right like? now, I want to go home and be with my family. Musically, what would you like to happen? Would you like to know the Martin TV? Yes. Yeah. You know, I think we've all put a lot of time, and I know Joey certainly put, certainly put a lot of time and effort into it. I think we owe it to him to put an equal amount of time and effort into it. I would like to see it continue. You know, I'd like to see it gain some uh, gain some legs on the strength of what we've already put into it as a band. We're starting to get pretty tight as a band. You know, it would be nice to to see it to see it continue, for lack of a better term. Sure. Cool. Well, so my questions are safe. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.